Would you please welcome the brilliant Joel Domish? <laughs> This is wonderful, isn't it? This is nice, and it's wonderful you made it. It talk, was close. Talk us through how tight this it was. It was close. I don't know what anyone's heard, but it snowed. <laughs> it snowed, and, uh, yeah, we were very delayed. I was in Heathrow Airport at 7.30, thinking this wasn't going to... Uh, a gasp from someone in the audience. Yes. And uh, I thought it wasn't going to happen. We were down... We were on the tarmac for a while. Um, you know, we were on the plane, we were on the tarmac, and this lady sat next to me, and she, she leant over and she went... Uh, you can tell the pilot to uh, hurry up and take it off, take it off, could you? And I was like, that is good. I said, I'm going to say that on the Late Late Show. <laughs> it's good. I didn't know my mum was on that flight. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I have to say, um, you know, thanks for, for making me cool in our house, Joel, this week, because uh, whenever I said you were coming on, our eldest boy, I mean, Conan O'Brien, we've had, like, big guests on, mean nothing. <laughs> He's gone, Joel, who knows air fryer? <laughs> that, that's how it is. And, and the show is just getting better and better. You're getting better and better on it. Thanks, Five man. series in. What a ride. It's absolutely insane. I mean, it's, it's one of those shows where I don't think we sort of really realised what it, it meant to families, I think. Especially the first series. We met it, I mean, when I got the call for the show, I, I was like... Are you serious? And then we made the show, and I was like, this is not going to be a hit, is it? We're going to. And then it just really sort of captured everyone's hearts, I think. It's just ridiculous. It's silly, isn't it? It's so silly. People get sucked in. It's really stupid. People get sucked in. It's, we, it's really <laughs> stupid. I can say that. I'm the host. The um, companies have started asking me to do a corporate version of The Masked Singer <laughs> for their company on Zoom. That's how big the show. <laughs> has become, Cha and I say ching. yes, uh, yeah, I say yes, because I love money, I love money, Pat. <laughs> I love it, thank you. And, uh, um, <laughs> just need you. Welcome to RTE, you're in the wrong place tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine we're on Zoom and there's this company, and they're all in their different houses, and then there's one person from the company dressed head to toe in like a costume, dancing and singing in their lounge. And they're all trying to guess who it, who it is on the chat function. <laughs> this is my life, Patrick. And then I come in at the end and I'm like, take it off, take it off, take it off. <laughs> oh, it's Anne from Accounts. <laughs> and I shut my laptop and I buy a car. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Speaking of taking it off, I had forgotten that, that audiences saw you first. On, on I'm a Celeb. This was way back before yeah. Thirst Trap was even a thing. <laughs> I mean, here, let's have a little look at Joel. Uh, oh, yes. This is Joel in uh, Wang Chicken. Oh, wow, God. Wow. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. It's lovely that you brought that from the frame in your house, Patrick. Yes, yes I did. <laughs> uh, I did. It was amazing. I mean, it was sort of, uh, I feel very lucky. I, it, at that point, sort of, comedians didn't really do. Uh, sort of reality television as such. And so it felt sort of a real, a real sort of gamble for me at that point. And... Um, you almost uh, failed the medical. I must... <laughs> I, I did. Look, right, OK, what <laughs> happened is I went in for this medical exam for the jungle that you've got to go for. And uh, I, I, I went, this doctor, very professional man, had a clipboard and he said, did all these things and checked off his list. And he said, uh, OK, just pop your top off and I'll be back in two seconds. Uh, this is true. And he went, beh went behind this little <laughs> curtain. And for some reason, Patrick, when I heard pop your top off, uh, I heard uh, pop your clothes off. <laughs> That's what I heard. And he's a doctor, so I completely trusted him. I just took off all of my clothes. I left my socks on. I'm not a monster. <laughs> and um, I sat back down on the, the bed with a little bit of paper on it, you know. And I sat there confident, so confident <laughs> in all my choices. He comes... <laughs> <laughs> he comes, uh, he comes back, I'll never forget this, he comes back around the curtain. <laughs> the only way I could describe his face is uh, it was like complete shock followed by absolute professionalism. <laughs> he went, he went, oh, hmm. <laughs> and started noting things out. He then continued the exam of the stuff that you're supposed to with your top off. 
and um, I sort of slowly started to realise, oh, no, he just said, pop your top off, <laughs> and I'm fully naked. <laughs> and bless his heart, to make me feel better, <laughs> uh, before the end of the exam, he made me sort of... gave almost a reason for me to have taken my trousers off. He went, OK, uh, we're about done. Uh, he just stand up. And I went, OK, he stood up. He just lifted up my penis and put it back down. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was it. That was it. <laughs> and he wrote, he wrote something on the clipboard. I've always wanted... What did he write? <laughs> I don't know. I've got to congratulate you. I haven't seen you since... Uh, yes. ..you and Hannah uh, became parents. That's oh, wow. amazing. It's mad. It's mad. It's absolutely... It's yeah. a, yes. It works. You it's... have a little boy called Wild. I do, yeah. I feel unbelievably lucky. I feel like I, I just... Love him so much. He's five months old now, and uh, his birth is mad, isn't it? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. A human coming out of another human? Absolutely insane. Yeah. I mean, the birth of your first child is always... It's an amazing thing. Um, the hospital that you went to, it was slightly more amazing for you than it was for <laughs> Hannah. Would you like to talk us through this? OK, so, so we... Um, we went... Uh, we, did the, we did the birth privately. Uh, by that, I mean medically, not... Uh, alone, and um, <laughs> we, uh, for a couple of reasons. Firstly, um, you do a lot of corporates, and you had I the do... money. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly it. That's exactly... I didn't want people to be shouting, "Take it off, take it off!" to my wife's vagina, and so <laughs> I thought, I'd, you know, I would do that. And um, <laughs> and uh, we were... <laughs> sorry, Hannah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm the sorry. worst thing is, Hannah. He's not. He's not. <laughs> I'm not sorry. And so we, uh, we were there, and uh, the thing you need to know about me is I am unbelievably tight. I am so tight, right? And this is the most money I've ever spent on anything in my entire life, right? ever in my life. And we get there, and we're, we're going, the birth is happening. We're, we're probably, I'm going to say, about eight hours in at this point. This lovely lady comes into this room with, like, uh, a sheet of paper. She hands me a sheet of paper, and I go, oh, what, what, what is this? What, what's the sheet of paper? And she said, oh, it's a menu. And so I look up her, and I go, is it included? <laughs> um, and she said, yes, yes, it is included. And so then I look through the menu and try and select the thing that looks to me to be the most expensive. <laughs> and uh, so I select that, and then I select so, what I think... So what did you select for yourself? It was... Well, well, I selected something that, well, about 12 hours in, this lady comes back into the room. By this point, Patrick, it's going off. Like, it's like, you know, the gown is off of my wife. It's contractions are happening. I'm massaging. There's wee on the floor. It's all going off. <laughs> that's, that's the point where the duck with a red wine jus arrives. <laughs> and my wife goes, what is that smell? <laughs> and I have to say, it's duck with a red wine jus, <laughs> Hannah. And she says, what have you got for me? And I say, ham sandwiches. Um, <laughs> And then, uh, and then it, it, it goes very long, and uh, it'll, about 30 hours and all, and my wife was amazing. Uh, 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 hang on. You just skirted over the fact that, that she's in labour for 30 hours, you're eating duck in a red wine jeu, and she's got a ham sanger. Yeah, okay. yeah. Because I thought it's good finger food, you know? Because <laughs> you can have contractions at the same time as grabbing. I, don't, I thought, you know, it'd be hard to sort of get purchase on a, a red wine jus <laughs> whilst doing the contractions. She had... Do you see? That's what I was thinking. All heart. She had, a, she had an epidural and um, we, uh, she then had a little sleep and then we were told by the doctors that after this little sleep she's going to push and it's going to be go time, right? It's about 30 hours now. And while she was having a little sleep, I thought this is a perfect time to have a lovely little meal. So I thought, I'll have another meal, right? <laughs> and I didn't know, but whilst I was next door, um, the, the, she woke up and the doctors were like, it's time to go. It's time to give birth to your child. We're, it's happening right now. And uh, she was like, OK. She was on all the drugs and going. And she's like, OK. And she, they're like, OK, push. It's going to happen, push. She then sort of goes, well, where is my husband? And apparently, one doctor goes, I don't know. The other doctor goes, I don't know. And then one nurse in the corner just goes, he's next door having lamb shank. <laughs> <laughs> I was. It was delicious. <laughs> it was delicious. And... <clears throat>
you, you've taken to it, I was about to say like a Dr. Water, that's probably <laughs> the wrong phrase, but, but uh, this, you posted this on your, on your Insta. Uh, this, is, this is you and, and Baby Wild. You just, this is the baby workout. Oh yeah, this is. Oh. And in case that makes anybody sick, how fit Joel actually is there. Doing my little setups. There he is, doing his little sit-ups. Shortly afterwards, uh, this is, is what happened. So we've got... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep, that's... Clean it off. <laughs> Clean it off. <laughs> what? <laughs> he oh. was sick in your mouth. He was sick directly into my mouth. It's, it's yeah. I mean, breast milk isn't good the first time, let alone regurgitated <laughs> out of your child. It's... A few people in the audience disagreeing with that one. <laughs>